Thank you. Okay, good morning everybody from the Borneo Culture Museum here in Kuching, Sarawak. And I have to start the vlog by admitting total ignorance. I learned something in this museum that absolutely blew my mind because I sort of assumed the opposite was true. And so in 1841, the first white Raja of Sarawak was crowned. He was the white king. And so my assumption was he was the white king of Sarawak because he came here with the British army and sort of uh, took it by military force. Totally not true. Usually when I go to museums like this, uh, what we learn about the white people in the 1800s is they take things by military force. So I was absolutely amazed to learn that Sir James Brooke showed up on his own accord. He had retired from the British Army. He bought himself a boat and he sailed to Sarawak where he met with the Sultan of Brunei and he had good solutions to legitimate problems. He took care of the pirates, he took care of the headhunting and he became White Raja because of his good ideas. What a refreshing museum. Every time I go to a museum like this, it's, uh, it's the white guys conquered it. Wow, shout out to James Brooke. So uh, I will admit that I just sort of assumed he took it by force. He's a true king, Steve. He's a true king. A true king. And there yes. were white Rajas after him. He passed it to his uncle and his son. And, and the, wow. uh, the Brooke legacy was something like 100 years. But it wasn't until after World War II will it, where it fully became a British colony. Did not know that. Yeah. My assumption was uh, they just conquered it. And the guns versus the arrows. Or the big guns versus the small guns. And they yeah. just took it. No. My new favorite museum. <laughs> now, I will say this. It's a beautiful museum yeah. and tons of good information that is presented in many, many different ways. So truly something for everyone from the kids to the adults. There's interactive stuff. There's history. There's really something for everyone there. And I would say five star museum. Yeah, I think this is my favorite museum so far that I've visited, to be honest. It's because sometimes I'm not a fan of museum because it can be like lots of words that are hard to understand. But this one, they, it's English is like written everywhere and it's easy to understand. So, yeah, and uh, the information is coming at you in many different ways, whether you're a visual yeah. learner or a literal or diagrams. My favorite part was learning about the tribal stuff. So hopefully during our road trip, we'll come across another longhouse from another tribe and we can learn more about it. Right. Yeah. So the reason we came to this museum today was to learn more about Sarawak because we have invited our European friends, Hello. Romanian friends, Hello. as well as Ken abroad. So one, two, three, four, and Ken. The five of us starting tomorrow will be on a road trip with no real destination. Sort of a meandering road trip going all around in Sarawak. Yeah. So we learned a lot in that museum. I really loved it. I'm excited to see some hornbills hopefully because we learned that the birds in Sarawak are believed to have an omen attached to them. Yeah. So depending on what bird you see and where you see it, uh, it is sending you some kind of message. And I believe the crown jewel of the birds in Sarawak is a hornbill. That would be special. I'd also like to eat some wild boar, which I didn't realize is so big. The wild boar oh, is, legitimately, like, is legitimately twice as big as I thought I mean, it was. If I see it in the, in the jungle, I'll be scared. I'll run away. Yes, it looks really big. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was uh, like this small. I thought it was tiny. <laughs> but it turns out to be this big. Exactly right. As well as I'd like to eat some deer because in Canada a lot of people eat deer because we hunt deer. Yeah. I didn't realize there's deer in Sarawak, including something called a mouse deer. Mouse deer. Tiny which, looks like uh, a rabbit. Sounds it has like it looks like tiny deer with chicken feet. Right. <laughs> which sounds like a good title to a vlog. First time eating mouse. <laughs> oh, uh, it sounds good, right? You can try the feet. It looks like chicken Mouse feet. feet. Looks like chicken feet. <laughs> so lots to do today. We are headed now towards the riverfront yeah. to maybe get some McCann McCann as well as we will introduce you to our two drone flying Romanian friends. The Dodos. The Dodos. <laughs> uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dodo. <laughs> Gigi and Mike. Okay, lots to do. Uh, good start to a travel day. Very nice. Man, right. imagine a white guy becoming king and not killing nobody. That is something special. All right, let's go to the riverfront. So as it turns out, Kuching is an incredibly beautiful city. I didn't expect all of this architecture, whether it's mosques or museums or what have you, uh, from the sky. It's a really easy place to photograph. And now we've come to Chinatown, I believe, which sort of reminds me of Penang or Malacca with the old sort of multicolored, uh, potentially colonial era buildings. 
but I will say this, first impressions of Kuching, first day exploring, it's, uh, it's a good first impression for me. And I'd like to use this time to uh, maybe talk to Mike a little bit and see what his first impressions of Malaysia are. How long have you been here? A couple weeks. Couple of weeks, yeah. Okay, so introducing Mike from Dodo Explorers. Yay, Mike Shout from out. Dodo Explorers. Thank so, uh, tell me, so you spent two weeks in West Malaysia? Yeah. And? Two weeks and maybe three, I don't know. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. So far, thumbs up, man. One of my favorite countries, definitely. Really? Yes, if it, nor, if it were not for the heat and humidity, I would have moved here so far. Ah, classic white guy complaint. I so, mean, come on, it's simple. It's, <laughs> I'm a human. I hate humidity and I hate heat. Okay. I'm a white guy. Okay, so what have you liked so far? Man, the food is very good. And I like the fact that the uh, Malaysians are kind of similar to Romanians, especially in culture. Sometimes we have similarities, especially really? the thing that we learned today in the in the museum that okay. the animal, the that the locals when they see the bird, it brings an omen to them. What depending on what kind of bird, we have a similar culture like this in Romania. Yeah, I would say an example would be the cuckoo bird. So if you hear the cuckoo bird the first time of the year, depending on how many times it cuckoos. Um, you will have that many years to live on this planet. No kidding. Yeah, interesting. Whoa, kind of scary. But also, like you said, very similar to uh, traditional Sarawak culture. Yeah. Boom, there you have it. Okay, favorite food? Favorite food? I don't know, man. So far, it's a lot of stuff. But I can tell you that the Roti John is the best street food here in Malaysia. Roti John. And it's amazing. It's okay. I mean, it's not bad. Come on, it's it's good as fuck. <laughs> have, you have you tried Ramly Burger? I tried Ramly Burger, but I like Rotijun more. Okay. Well, hey, at least at least we know it's an honest review because most yeah. people say Ramly. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm Team Rotijun. Fair and enough. Plus, our money is one to one with Malaysians, so is it right? Me, no more math. Every I time I have to buy some stuff, no more math. I didn't know what you were gonna say when I asked you, but to say that Malaysia and Romania are very similar, it surprised me. Yeah. Cool answer. Okay, with that, let's go to the riverfront. I think there's a market down there. Yep. Shout out, buddy. Sure. Boom. Just before the riverfront, we're doing a, a hat test here. Yeah. You guys know I've loved this hat forever. Ivana thinks this one is better. <laughs> oh, yeah. so it does, Your it, head is too my big. My head is too big, but it does do pretty good sun coverage. <laughs> Although I don't think it will perform very good in the rain. <laughs> Which one is better? Which hat? Should Steve exchange this hat for that? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. shout out to our friend Juliana. Yeah, this is her shop right here. Very this nice. Shop. Very nice shop. Just yeah. Right here in yeah, we're just trying the costumes, Ooh. traditional Ooh. costumes. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Well, Very nice. Uh, a pie. A pie. Oh, just robing and yes. uh, Iga Ulu. Iga Ulu. <laughs> we're still Iban Rob. names. Iban, Iban names, names for our Romanian friends. <laughs> Meaning friends and beautiful uh, lady. lady. <laughs> what? What? Who's in town? Ooh. <laughs> Mine is okay. Wow, look at this. We got a gift. This is actually for your mask. For but your hat or your sunglasses. Wow. sunglasses. A gift from Juliana. So, Very guys, nice. go to Dodo's channel to see a long clip from here. Uh, yeah. A nice, uh, really nice lady. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Nothing is better than traveling with your friends. And speaking of friends, these people over here look like they're friends. <laughs> Get it, bro, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so the road trip officially starts tomorrow. We've all officially gathered. Yay. We're gonna sleep on it tonight. And then tomorrow we are off to the races, driving who knows where in Sarawak. The sun is just setting a really nice river walk here hopefully these stores start filling in looks like we're a little bit early for the night market uh we will go for dinner uh mike is enjoying his pre-dinner roti john he has a pre-lunch roti john a post-lunch roti john and a pre-dinner <laughs> roti john hey. and supper roti john roti john for life <laughs> all right let's go see if we can find some dinner on the river walk let's go So the riverside here is really starting to fill in with people and uh, everybody's having a good time. The weather is just perfect and everybody seems to be smiling and enjoying. I tell you what, I was not prepared for the beauty of Kuching and the sort of uh, visual aesthetic of it, whether it's the mosques, the bridges or the museums, really beautiful architecture as well as lots of street art. 
which is always a good thing to give a city some character. So uh, my impressions of Kuching were really nice. It seems like it's a memorable city. Uh, obviously, we've only been here one day and we're taking off on our road trip tomorrow, but uh, lots to love about Kuching. So far, so good. And now I am really getting hungry. So let's... Uh... <laughs> Say hi! For YouTube, okay? Okay. Okay, yeah, vole, YouTube. <laughs> Name, channel, yeah. Jet lag. Jet lag. Hi. Hello. It's, uh, it's karate. Yeah, oh uh, no, Silat. No, Martial art. Martial art? Yes. Oh, good for you. Yes. You are a warrior, warrior princess. Warrior. Yeah. Careful, they can, they can kill you. Aha, uh -huh, back up, back up. Can't type, can't type. Jet lag, J E. Oh, oh. J E? T. T. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. You see yourself on the video, okay? Okay. Say hi. You're from Kuching? Yes. yes. Yeah, the top one, the first one. So, do you love do you love Kuching? What's your favorite part of Kuching? Um, waterfront, yes. Riverside. Yeah, <laughs> River Riverside. Yeah, waterfront. Can. What's your favorite food? Wow. Favorite food. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I love. I. Favorite I am Penyet. I am Penyet. Good choice. Okay, nice to meet you. Bye bye. Shout out, man. Shout out to Kuching. <laughs> Making friends on the waterfront. <laughs> we need to get a bigger van. These people should come on the road trip with us. We need to get a tour bus. Jet Lag Warriors Kuching Tour. Sarawak Tour. <laughs> we got Dancing Robot. Dancing Robot. I think it's a... Uh, what's that movie? Transformer. Yeah. Dancing Transformer. Let's get some food, babe. Uh, oh, shawarma. Kebab. Shawarma. Kebab? Yeah, kebab. Can. I think there's the same. Same, same. Oh, oh the wrapper. Subway. Huh? Subway. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh. I think she borrowed it. I think it's a borrow. Yeah, I think she borrowed it. <laughs> subway packaging. <laughs> okay, you can see. Thank you. Can I make a C? Local Subway. <laughs> the Kuching Subway. The Kuching Subway. Yes. Kuching Subway. Better than the local, the other Subway. Right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> although, although I made one mistake, I forgot to say half sauce. The thing about Malaysia, whether it's East Malaysia or West Malaysia, typically the street food is super oh. duper saucy. Ah, oh, I should have said half sauce. It's okay, still gonna be very yummy. Although, you can do half the amount of sauce and it would still be delicious. Just one thing I've noticed about Malaysian street food. Although, very good. What we can do, Ivana, is we can go for some other snacks after this to uh, refresh our palate. Mm. Good though, right? Ah, not bad. Not bad. Very saucy. For five ringgit, mm -hmm. not bad. Mm -hmm. All right, the journey continues here on the river walk. Yeah. So I think the market is starting to fill in. This stall here looking very busy. Cake lapis. Oh, let's try. Cake lapis. Oh, samples. 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 Now you're speaking my language. Oh, thank you, thank you. Cake la piece. So everyone is a different flavor? Yeah. Okay. Which one can you recommend? This looks like uh, the German flag. German flag. Upside down. Red, yellow. Schwarz, rot, gold. Which one's best? Your favorite? My favorite. This is my favorite. And this is best. What's the flavor? Yeah. Or maybe maybe I should guess. Yeah. But this is not cake la piece. Uh, the one is a traditional cake. Yeah. Yeah. From, from, from. Tradish one. Traditional cake. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievably moist. Okay. I have to try this one because this is the German flag. German flag. Black, red, and yellow. It's yeah. you, you know it's German flag, right? So buttery. It's so buttery, dude. You're gonna love it. It's so soft. Most of it is buttery. Oh, mm -hmm. super nice. Mm. Yeah, Do you mind if I have one more sample? It's okay. Uh, please, yeah, please, please, yeah, please. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Too big, too big, too big. Buy one piece as well. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy it. We'll buy a loaf. Um, which one looks the best? This one looks like it's different type of chocolate. Yeah, this one I was wanting this to try. This one is chips small. Say again? Chips small. Chips? Okay. You know the cookies? The cookies oh. chips small? This is it. Okay. So this is flavored like... Chips more. Chips more. Yeah. Okay. Bottoms up. Cheers. Clink. <laughs> Cheers. So this is the people's favorite. Good. It's uh, Cadbury. You know the chocolate Cadbury? So oh, buttery. I think yeah, it's this one. I want to try. Yeah. So buttery. You guys make yourself 
Yes. You make? Yeah, it's fresh from the oven. Our store is back there. It's called Cake Lapis Machine. It's back there. It's open uh, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So, how do you make the cake with all the lines? We take it two second roll. Uh, two second roll. One line and then uh, we bake it in the oven. Ooh. After the one line uh, is done and then we Put another layer. Oh, then we put another layer. so and every layer good. is a separate cake. Yes. Oh, man, this is very good. This is the one. This okay. is the one. We found the one. Cadbury. Yeah. Cadbury. Ah, Cadbury. Oh, yeah, Cadbury. Oh, oh, dropping, dropping, dropping. Oh, Cadbury cake is over there. You can, you can buy it and mm. figure size for you. Sedap. Sedap. Yes, wow. Sedap. But your hard decision is now which uh, cake we're gonna buy. How much for one of each? Be honest. Discount price. <laughs> it's very cheap. From starting from here, it's ten ringgit. Ten ringgit. Uh, starting from here, it's thirteen ringgit. And starting from here, it's thirty ringgit. So one loaf, ten ringgit, is about two dollars fifty cents American. It's a good price. They have a cake for thirty as well, so it's, it's probably it's the best one. Price. It's a reasonable price. Reasonable price. And very nice taste. I can assure you the price is accommodating with the, the taste. Quality, yes. I think it's the most most moist cake I ever had. Yeah, very, it's uh, very moist. Yeah. Very moist. Yeah, our cake is, uh, this is a Sar Sarawak's uh, signature cake. Uh, uh, it's called layer cake. So uh, the, the method is layering of the cake. And somehow, because of the layering, it's so delicious. Got it. Got it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we buy one. Maybe I will let my wife choose. She's right. she's the boss. You know, you know how it goes. She's the boss. She's the boss. Not the queen control. Not the queen control. She's the boss. She's the boss. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ivana, Ivana. So far, so far, our favorites are uh, the Cadbury one. Cadbury? There's a Cadbury cream. Uh, yeah, very nice. You should try, you should try. And then also, uh, we like the cheese one. Now, Ivana, have you had cake lapis before? Yes. Yes. Because it also exists in Indonesia. But in Sarawak, it's a specialty. Uh, India. India? Yeah. 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 We cake call lapis it Cadbury cake lapis is a cake lapis India. India. Oh. The same thing. Okay. Cake lapis India. Yeah. And cake lapis Cadbury. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> nice, right? Strawberry, <laughs> watermelon. Very good. Which one is cheese? Cheese is over here. Mm. Cheese. These, these are yellow ones are cheese. Really nice. Hmm. They're both good. Maybe one of each. Oh, this one is Ken's favorite. This is Ken's favorite. Nutella. Nutella. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite. Okay. Maybe I'll try one more just to be sure. Just to be sure. Just to be sure. <laughs> See, you don't want to make an uninformed decision. This is where samples are a good idea. You tell her pretty good. You tell her pretty good. Uh, Blachan is also good. Blachan? Yeah. Blachan. It just looks like it. It's not really Blachan. Say again for me. Blachan, right? Yes, <laughs> Blachan. Blachan. Cannot. <laughs> Cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I know the song is very weird, but Blachan is from uh, brown sugar actually. Uh, yeah, try it, try it. This it's it's Blachan, it's Blachan in name, <laughs> not in flavor. Right. Blachan, yes. Ah, can't, can't, can't. Oh, there's this one. <laughs> if it's Blachan, if it's Blachan, if it's Blachan yeah. you just lost one customer. <laughs> not Blachan. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Okay, Ivana, I think we should go Nutella and one more. Nutella and chocolate cheese. Which one is chocolate cheese? Yeah. Nutella. I'm going to override my wife's decision. I'm so confident. All right. One Nutella. Nutella. You want All right. One Nutella. One Nutella. All right. And one chocolate cheese. Chocolate cheese. Yeah. All right. So one Nutella. It's okay for you, Ivana? Mm -hmm. My intention was to ask you, but I got carried away. I, I became confident. Chocolate cheese and uh, Nutella. Sold. Yes, sold. Do you want us to cut it and uh, I'm, I'm probably going to eat it all myself, so okay. no need to cut. No need to cut. <laughs> <laughs> you mean with that? <laughs> yeah, can you cut? Sorry, can you cut? All right, I'll show you. Yeah, better, better, better. Can you eat by its size? Yeah. <laughs> I said I eat all myself, and Ken comes over. Wait a second. What do you mean <laughs> eating all by yourself? No, all the Okay. There you have it, guys. So, accidentally, we bought the most expensive one. We bought the 30 ringgit one. Wow, Nutella. Nutella. So, most loaves are 10 ringgit. Oh, 
but we got the best one. Three times as good. Which one is the other one? Premium. 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 Yes. Premium cake with these for a premium man. Do we have to share with Ken now? No. Uh. Now I will say this. One thing about the Dodo Explorers, I'm not sure if the Dodo Bird wanders off a lot, but we have lost Mike for the second time today. <laughs> he ate the cake piece, he said it's very good, and he disappeared. What? Where did he go? I think he wanted to fly the drone. Oh, fly the drone, fly the drone. Uh, so check out their video as well. Oh, yeah, the bead, the bead lady? Yeah. Shout out to you, because you wandered in there, and you and we followed you, and that was a really nice part of the day. Yeah. But you also found the, like this amazing snack on the street, which is absolutely oh, delicious. <laughs> there you have it. Shout out to all of us. And shout out to Ken. I think the road trip. I think the road trip is going to be amazing. The five of us are going to have a, a party. Cannot wait. All right, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our video, and we'll see you in the next one, which will be day one of road trip. Later. Is it a mountain or a cloud? Be honest. It's a cloud mountain right there. Cloudy mountain. Cloud mountain. Cloud mountain. Cloud mountain. Cloud mountain. Yes. <laughs> mountain, right? Mountain. mountain covered by clouds. In, in typical Sarawak religion, there was a uh, spirit of the mountain as well as a spirit of the clouds. Mm -hmm. Dual spirit. <laughs> Cloud mountain. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> my, my finger is on top. Oh, you're Mike. Oh, 